Hey guys, Sapoy here, and today I'm gonna do an unboxing of the 160 scale Arbalest version 4. Alright, here is the box itself. Now, um, I'm gonna be very honest right now, I have absolutely no knowledge of Full Metal Panic whatsoever, and um, uh, I just, you know, happen to like catch this guy in, in the shelf not in the shelf of my hobby store I usually go to where my friend I went, funny is I went to my, I went to the uh store today with my friend and he's while he's picking his model kit I was looking around the store and I found this. Um I did a little bit of research just after buying this kit and I find out found out that a lot of people have I've been recommending watch this anime, the anime, which I should, I should be, um, not, not immediately, but I will, I will get watching this anime eventually. But like I said, people say it's really, it's a really good anime, so I, I figured maybe if I have the time, I probably go and watch the anime and see how good it is. Because it's, I can just, you know, can't just stick in a gun all, all the time. Should I, if, since I love mecha, I might as well, small, might as well show, watch other anime as well. So yeah, um, I got it was on a, it was the last one in the store by the way, so I. I was a little bit like on the fence when I was getting it, and when like when I figured out, when I figured out it was the last one in the store. I then my then my then I thought I thought you know what, uh, if this is the last one in the store, I might as well just get it just for fun because I probably might buy now regret it later. But yeah, so yeah, uh, if I remember correctly, these mechas are called arm slaves. If I'm not wrong, uh, I just did the research after I buy this kit, and uh, I should be watching anime. Yes, I should be. So yeah, do, don't. Don't don't uh go go come to me and say hey be watch anime be watch anime blah 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 something like that. I will watch the anime so um just give me some time. So yeah, um uh, this is a one sixty scale. So in terms of like actual in terms of uh comparing this to a one to one for scale gumpa market, it is the same size. So this guy is really small. So if you bring this Beside, if you compare it, once you just okay, if for a gun amount kit, that's that's a perfect grade size. Compare this to a perfect grade. This thing is tiny. I'm not, sh I'm not sure how big is it in uh in um in, in real life, but you know, I I, I prefer I like the the scale of like high grade size models. I mean, this is technically like a uh a uh quality of a high grade, but. I'm seeing the price, I'm a little bit surprised about that. So let's get, there's the stuff you can do, and the Lambda driver, which, uh, if I remember correctly, my friend told me that the Lambda driver is basically some kind of, uh, I mean, I, I, yeah, quote, don't quote me on that, because I'm, I'm, I, I didn't watch, I didn't watch, uh, Food and Panic, but don't, don't cor correct me on that, I will, I don't really care, but I will watch the anime by myself, so no need, no need to quote me on that. Uh, but, like I said, if the, the Lambda driver, if I remember correctly, they say it's like some kind of life, it's converting a pilot's life force into energy, so I'm not sure what it does in the anime, but I'll see what what it, what it really does in the anime. So I'll see where it goes. And basically, it has a waist uh, waist driver similar to a uh, masker rig where you swing down the the waist and then it brings it brings the legs a bit forward, so it gives more range. That's kind of interesting to see. And let's see how it goes. And then it shows you the weapons it comes with. On the side, you get the front and back shot of the arbalest, and then it retails to eight hundred yen. But uh, it was it's on sale on my story store, so I got it for like thirty five, thirty six, I guess. Uh, it was originally sixty four dollars if it, without discount. So I'm not sure if I'm really happy to get this or not. But you know, let's see how it goes. Uh, the white part E plate, which is all the white parts. That's it says they're armed slaves. So. The, it's basically, I guess, it's shared for. I'm a, I saw. I also ordered a full, uh, full metal pancake as well. Not just the arbalas. You get the. Uh, I can't remember the name. Crap. But it's it's this is this is a custom of like that uh, arm sleeve. If I put it that way. And, and I just realized the packaging is really neat. Uh, more gray parts and then the armor, which is again for the arm sleeve. Uh, yellow parts, actually, I know those go on the chest and those go on the shoulders, and, oh, I didn't know this, uh, you get, uh, poly caps, uh, the same one used in gun kits, that's interesting, and, let's say 160 scale arbalest, this one's an exquisite arbalest, uh, more parts, you know, for the arms, the arm slaves, 
And from what I see, my friends told me that yeah, uh, that webbing on the open hand should not be there. It should be cut out. But so it goes, and you know, let's see, let's see what happens if I can do, I can do anything. Oh, I just realized the packaging is all in order. <laughs> that's weird. that's fun. Um, again, more armor parts for the arm slave. And the last bag, you get uh, again more parts for the arm slave and the sticker sheet. Not a lot, but I did see you need feeling a little missing detail on this kit. And the manual, that is one nice looking manual. I really love this manual. Like just by just looking at this. Yeah, so basically you can you can uh it, it's basically is the build is similar to a hybrid Gundam, but except it's a little bit unique in some way. Yeah, so the body, the head, the arms, the legs, the waist, and yeah, that's it. And you just put the weapons, and you're good to go. And you land the drive as well. So yeah, that's the unboxing of the 160 scale Arbalest. Uh, not sure when I'm gonna build this, build this, build this kit, but I don't know if you guys want to see a review of this kit. But if you guys do really want to see a review of this model kit, uh, do let me know. Uh, I. I I currently have no plans to actually do a review of this guy. Uh, I will do paint. I will paint. No, not not like airbrush, but whatever. I will paint the missing details and uh, probably even top coat if I can, and see how it goes. So yeah. So guys, thank you guys for watching this unboxing, and see you more videos. Peace out.